Kal Halal, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakal Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone, peace, blessings, salutations, to the Akiyam in the four corners, putting in his work in faith, in truth, and sincerity. Salutations to the confusion of faces I can right there on the four corners, and to the few sisters that are trying to receive the word of Yahweh Shem El Shai, and ominous meekness and silence. I guess, uh, just wanted to go over this, this video that, uh, brother sent me this video, man. And it was just like, you know, of Esau moaning and groaning about Jake, you know, and um, man, as you listen to this, man, you know, just scriptures are, are, are coming to mind, man, that we, you know, we are cursed, man. You know, we're under the curses. And you even see here Esau uh, complain about, you know, you can't blame us for slavery. You know, go find the man who put you in slavery. I ain't had nothing to do with it. Well, shit, the, 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 the scriptures address that as well. I'm just going to play the, the video, man, and uh, go through a few scriptures. Try not to be long-winded, man. Look at this simple-ass nigga they got. Anyway, come on. For history, this Midwestern housewife, like a lot of white Americans, does not think the Negro should present history's bill to her. We hear so much about the slavery. 300 years ago, our grandfathers were slaves, or 200 years ago, our grandfathers were slaves. Well, for God's sakes, did we have anything to do with that? I had no... Yes. Yes. You did. Let's go to the scripture. Isaiah 14 and 21. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fear the face of the world with cities man okay so the scriptures say prepare slaughter for the children for the sins of your father man okay so you're not gonna you know and that's the typical thinking of the regular you know what i'm saying pecker wood crocker you know edomite i ain't had nothing to do with it. i ain't had nothing to do with it yes you know you that that was you in the rear in the regeneration man you're back here today screwing the same mad madness having the same hatred in your heart you know what i'm saying for the most highs, you know what I'm saying, for, for you know, his, uh, his, his anointed, man, okay, for his favorite, man, okay, so the scriptures say prepare slaughter, so we are preparing slaughter for you, man, okay, for the sins of, of your fathers, man, for the wickedness and atrocities you've done against the children of Israel, man, okay, go back, pardon it, I had no slaves, my folks didn't, my grandparents didn't, are they blaming us for what happened three years ago? Let's forget the past. Think of the future. Build up the future. See, that's the thinking of the regular, you know what I'm saying? The regular slack jaw Edomite, man. Okay. Ecclesiastes 3 and 15. That which is, that which hath been is now. And that which is to be hath already been. And the most high required that which is past, man. So we don't forget the past, man. Okay, the most high don't forget the past, man. Okay, you're gonna pay for your past for what you've done in the past, man. Okay, just like we have. Okay, so to all the nations, man, starting with Esau, even the so called white man, man, and it's gonna be a hell of a price to pay, man. Hell of a price to pay. Okay, let's, let's move on, man. And why keep hemming and hawing over the same thing over and over and over again? And they say, You must give me land because my grandfather was a slave. Well, then I would say, for God's sakes, find the man who had your grandfather as a slave and then demand the land from him. Don't bother me because I have no part of it. Across the country. That's, that's right. We will find the, the man. It's you. It's, you. You dumb crackers. You see the Christian. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, the regular slow poke, you know what I'm saying? Jed Clampett Crocker, they don't even believe in the Bible, man. Okay? They don't even believe in the Christianity, which they, uh, you know, which which has been set up to you know to keep Jacob sleep, man. Okay, but you are you are the ones back in the regeneration, man. So we have, we will found the man. We have found the man that has done this thing. It's you, Pecklewood. All right, it's you, Esau. All right. Country, we asked whites whether the main reason Negroes had not made more progress was because of racial discrimination or because Negroes have not worked hard enough. This lawyer expressed a view we heard most often. We find there is a reluctance to pile apart of too many Negroes, particularly among the young. 
to take the hard and remunerative jobs that must be necessary to earn a living. There is a feeling that for some reason somebody owes them a living. Just about half of whites in our survey said the Negro has not made more progress because he has not worked hard enough. Only 15% blames discrimination. Some had no opinion. I feel that they're basically uh, lazy when this summer, for example, opportunity was given to them to better themselves in getting as many jobs as possible uh, in various uh, fields of retail, uh, wholesale, and... All right, you got damn devil, man, okay? Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 1. And then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him. Okay. Who is this righteous man? Okay. Israel, man. Okay. The elect of Israel. Okay. Will stand in great boldness in, before the face of such as have afflicted him. Man, Esau, all the nations have afflicted Israel, man. Okay. But the main culprit is Esau Edom, the so-called white man. Okay. So-called white man. Because you're not white, you're red. Your blood shows forth through your skin, man, okay? Henceforth, they, they, they ain't eat them, man, okay? Red, okay? All right? Esau in Hebrew, Asha, okay? Wasted away, all right? And made no account of his labors, man. You you, you dirty crackers, Esau eat them. We, we, we built this bitch up, man, okay? With slavery, man, okay? With hardcore slavery, man. So you got some fucking nerve to open your mouth and say anything about uh, Jake is, you know, Negroes is lazy, man. We were beaten down and trodden down, but we, everything you fucking crackers got over here in Babylon, man, came off the back of Jacob, man, all right, of, 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 of the of, of the 12 tribes of Israel, man, okay? They don't take the full advantage of accepting the responsibility of going out for these jobs. They feel that they're not good enough for them. About half of whites agreed with this woman, that Negroes tend to be lazy more than whites. And this woman mentioned another charge against Negroes, that they have low morals. Their sex problem, let's face it now, um, how many white people have ten illegitimate children? Very few. Very few. Uh, this, is, uh, this seems to be uh, a trend with them. Uh, and I, I often wondered... What happens to these here men who follow these children? Are they busy making babies elsewhere? Or are they busy? Right. The scriptures say be fruitful and multiply. Okay. Which should be done in, in, in righteousness, man. Okay. But due to the so-called devil, okay, Esau, Edom, he's got everything fucked up and, and out of order, man. Okay. So therefore, Jake is out of order, man. Okay. All right. Because we, we, we in your heaven, Esau. You done fucked everything up, man. In a civil rights march yelling for the civil rights. And four out of ten whites in our survey agreed that Negroes, more than whites, have low moral standards. However, half or more of whites disagree with some of the views you have just heard. For example, they reject the idea that Negroes are more likely than whites to have low morals. But for the moment, we're concentrating on attitudes opposed to racial integration. In Chicago, we talked with a group of whites who call themselves lower middle class. They are worried about Negroes moving into their neighborhood. And they are not responsible citizens. Until they live like we are, we don't want them. I don't want to live with me, to tell you the truth. Whether they take care of me or not, I don't want to live with them. Because they ran away from us. And if I want... Right. <laughs> He's fucking crockers, man. Uh, Ezekiel 35 and 5. Because thou has had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of the calamity and the time that the iniquity had an end, man. You've had a perpetual hatred for, 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 for the children of Israel, man. A perpetual hatred, man. Okay. And, and it's evident, man. Okay. So that's what you Negroes, Latinos, and, and Native Americans got to just come to the realization, man, that you have an enemy by nature, man. Okay. The so called, all the nations are your enemy. The, the chief, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 um, perpetrator is is the white man, Esau Edom man, the so-called white man, Esau Edom. Okay. I wanted to live with him. I wouldn't be paying high taxes like I am. I would have stayed what I was. More than and in, and in the kingdom, white white woman, 
you're going to be begging for mercy, man. Okay? You're going to be begging for mercy. Um, you fucking eat a mic, dog. All right? Both whites in our survey believe Negroes are more likely than whites to run down their own neighborhoods. And that's that's part of the curses, man. Okay? Deuteronomy 28 and 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes should be evil toward his own brother. Even the most tender and delicate man. Okay? Even the most tender and delicate man. This is talking about the Israelites, man. Okay? Even the most tender and gentle man, his eye should be evil toward his brother, man. Okay? And toward the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave, man. Okay? So, this is part of the curse. I mean, you heard about the crocker talking about illegitimate children and, and they don't, you know what I'm saying? Hey, this is, we, we cursed, man. Okay? Wake up. Wake up, Jake. Wake up. In the south, they throw the garbage out of the window, and the pigs come and eat it. Here, they throw the garbage out of the window, and no pigs come and eat it. In general, are Negroes as civilized as whites? 43% of whites said no, Negroes are not as civilized. It's his image that he's building. They act like savages, like animals. They kill each other, they rape, and they run. There's a riot, but they wouldn't burn their own places. They had signs all over. Soul brother. Make no difference. They rob. Hey, you know, just what we just mentioned, man, like shit. His eye should be evil toward his brother, man. That's part of the curses mentioned in Deuteronomy 24. I mean, Deuteronomy 28, verse 54, man. That's part of the curses, man. All right? You know, because Jake won't. Jake won't go out and issue judgment out on on his enemy, man. The so-called white man of nations. Jake go kill his own, go kill another one of his own kind, man, of his, of his own nation, man. All right. Tell me we ain't cursed. Tell me we not cursed. What about the way Negroes care for their children? About one quarter of whites say that Negroes are less likely than whites to take good care of their children. The colored woman does not take care of a child, does not help to educate this child. There's no problem about it. They're ADC. The more children they can have, the more money they get to go out and play the lottery. They get more money to go out and drink a little more gin. But to take care of their children, they put a pair of shoes on them. I blame the mother for not educating her child when they're born. From the date of birth. All right, that's, that's, that's. That's part of the curses, man. All right? Lamentations 4 and 3. Even the sea monsters draw out the breasts. They give suck to their young ones. The daughter of my people has become cruel like the ostriches in the, in the wilderness, man. Okay? Cruel like the ostriches, man. That stamp, that stamp on their eggs, man. Okay? They don't give a damn about the, about the, uh, their kids, man. Okay? And that's, that's part of the curses, but, you know, the black woman has, has accepted, okay? Has, has fully embraced the ways of Babylon, the ways of Esau, the ways of her enemy, man, the ways of her oppressor. She don't give a shit about about the damn kids, man. Okay? All right? The, the black woman think that just because they got some damn Jordans on the kid's foot and some and some some knockoff polo shit they got from Ishmael at the damn flea market, that that's taking care of their fucking kids, man. And it's not, man. The scriptures say you're going to lament for the teeth, man. Okay? You're going to regret taking hold of Esau's ways, man, okay, and, 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 and not stand in your role as a mother under the man, okay, all right, not under the nigga, but a, a righteous man, okay, the daughter of my people has become cruel, man, you're cruel to a young Jake, man, feeding them all kind of garbage, man, you know what I'm saying, got them sitting in front of the TV, the TV and these cartoon characters is teaching our sons and Israelite sons and daughters how to read, write, and, 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 and make decisions, and control their emotions, man. Right? It's going to pay a price to pay for that shit, man. Born till the day grew up. Lower intelligence. One out of four whites also believe Negro children are more likely to hold back the class. When you were in school, your mother made sure you did your homework before you went out. A colored child, his mother or father don't care if they ever do their homework. And I feel that this is why the white child is so much more superior to the colored and not because the colored child doesn't want to learn. It's because there's nobody behind him pushing him. Lower intelligence. About one white and... Right, because the male, the, the, the Israelite man has been forced out of the house, man. Okay? By women's lib, welfare, you know what I'm saying? Feminism, you know what I'm saying? And and all kind of other fuckery and, and, and debauchery, man, created 
um, by this white man. Okay, there is nobody pushing because there's nobody to guide the woman, man. Okay, there's no righteous man to guide the woman to guide the child, man. Tell me, we ain't cursed. In seven agrees that Negroes have lower intelligence at birth than whites. We're not all created equal. And as far as intelligence, uh, there is a little book called Breeding Down. And this bitch trying to say something stupid, but when there's a black child come out come out of the womb, man, it's it's like a um, we cursed, you know, we under the curses. But when that child comes out of the out of the womb, man, curse, hey, amen. We I just trip to say we curse going in, curse going out. So like you, but that is a like child. It's like a like a blank computer, man. Okay, and no sooner than it, it comes out of the polluted womb, okay, and brings his first breath, his first breath of air, they've been indoctrinated, man, with, with a bunch of fucking garbage, man. Okay, you know, with a bunch of madness, man. Okay. So it'd be different if the child had a chance to to be able to raise up in righteousness, man, under the law, statutes, commandments. You know that wouldn't do away with the curses, but we we'll, we we'll, it'll be much better than sitting in front of the goddamn idiot box, man. Okay, all right, Lear learning from a fucking talking uh a talking uh sponge, you know what I'm saying? A talking pig, you know, or uh, you know, or a giant Tweety Bird, you know. Tell me we're not cursed. And uh, it says in there where the, the colored is born with an IQ, not born, but it develops, to 80 plus, and the white is 90 and up. About half of whites polled said they do not think most fellow whites want the Negro to have equality. They don't desire an education of our type. They have different music. They have a different way of dressing. They have different schools or different uh, churches. Their religion is different. Everything is different. Sympathetic to the... Of course, we are different, man. Okay. Genesis 25 and 23. And Yahweh said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger, man. Okay. So, you know, this is... Uh, the Lord, Yahweh said unto her, to her is Rebecca, two nations are in thy womb, two manner of people, okay? Two different manner of people, all right? So, yes, we are different, okay? We are the salt of the earth, man, okay? We got flavor, man, all right? Negro, 38% of whites said they do not think other whites are sympathetic to the problems of the Negro. I don't want to help them. I don't want to help them. And I don't want them living next door to me for the simple reason that there might be a lot of nice ones, but I got four kids, and I don't want them growing up with colored next door to them. Because it's it's a proven fact. They grow up, they think nothing of uh, each other, they play together. Pretty soon they're in their teens, they start dating, and pretty soon they're marrying. I don't want my kids marrying a colored person. We have just heard the views of Lisher. Many of whites who might be against a complete split between the races nonetheless have no desire to see the Negroes come closer than they are now. For example, about half the whites said they would object to housing for Negro families in present all-white neighborhoods. And four out of ten whites say they would object to busing Negro students to better schools. We found when it comes to ways for the Negro to protest for what he wants, most whites are against Negro picketing or boycotting. In fact, against anything other than holding a protest meeting. When Negroes riot in our ghettos, what is to blame? The causes mentioned most often by whites have to do with ghetto conditions. But on the other hand, great numbers of whites say it is largely because of a communist plot, or that it's mostly young kids looking for excitement, or that it's a way for Negroes to steal things and not get caught. More than a third of whites say that when a riot occurs, it would be a good idea for police to shoot one or two rioters as examples to the rest. Shoot. Right. Translation rioters, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. They kill. If they're old enough to violate law, shoot them. If it's my own kid, I'd say shoot them. He deserves it. He should obey law. If there's laws for us, if there's laws for Negroes, let them start obeying them. He should be shot. That's the only way we can stop them. I, I can't see where the policeman has to stand there and uh, just hold his gun in his hand. And for what? 
uh, they're breaking the law, aren't they? Right. Who was the biggest lawbreaker on the face of the earth? Well, the, the, the biggest lawbreaker, which the true laws are the law, statutes, commandments of the Holy Scriptures given, given us to us, you know what I'm saying, by Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, but even this, this damn cracker, Eda Esau, he make his he make his 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 man made laws. It was he don't even follow him, man. Okay, he don't even adhere to him, man. Okay, but this is again is part of the curses, man. Okay, Jeremiah twenty nine and eighteen, and I will persecute them with the sword, with the famine and with the pestilence, and I will and will deliver them to be removed to all the kingdoms of the earth. To be a curse and an astonishment and a hissing and a reproach among all the nations where I have driven them, man. And that's what they say, man. Shoot these niggas, man. Kill these niggas, man. Okay? But this is the curse from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, man. For our wickedness, man. Okay? All right? For our incredulities, man. Okay? For our black backsliding, man. Okay? The so called white man blessing is the sword and the most high gonna let him use the sword against against Israel, man, for judgment, man. Okay? And these crackers that's talking about this old clip, this is the same, this the same thing Esau has in his heart to this day, man. Okay, what's the date? The uh, September the fourth, two thousand eighteen. The cracker bleed that to this very day, man. Review. What can we conclude about the degrees of white opposition to equality and integration for the Negro? About half of the whites in our survey say they do not believe most whites want equality. About one half of whites deny that discrimination is the main reason for holding back the Negro. About one half of whites say they do not want Negro families moving into all white neighborhoods. What about feelings of superiority to the Negro? About 14% of whites say that whites are born innately superior to Negroes, and about... White, right, but, but we, 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 we are racist, okay? All right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, hey, you know what? And we, we, we are racist, man. Okay? Race comes from the word um, Raza, Latin, La Raza. That means the seed. Okay? And the Greek sperma. You know what I'm saying? So we, we are for our seed. We are for our nation, man. Okay? Just like Esau, you for your nation, your nationality, your nations, and your seed, so are we, man. Okay? But white supremacy is, 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 is about to be wiped out, man. Okay? And we're about to rule supreme again. All right? 43% of whites say the Negro is not as civilized as whites. What about attitudes that may reflect a degree against the hairy, hairy, hairy hand, hairy knuckle, hairy back cracker? We're not as civilized, man. We're we under the curses, man. But even under the curses, we're still better than you other nations, man. Especially the so-called white man, okay? Especially the red, pale, blue-eyed, blind, leprous dog Esau, man. Okay? So get your, get your shit together. All right? The path of slavery, white man. ...be a white hostility. About one-third of whites believe that one or two rioters, and rioters today, for the most part, means Negro, should be shot as an example to the rest, meaning immediate punishment without due process of law, contrary to American tradition. All right, man, look. Call Allah, Yahweh Bashim al Shah, the water Yahweh Bashim al Shah. But all these curses and everything that Esau has done to us and these other nations is falling back on their head, man. Deuteronomy 30 and 7. And Yahweh, thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them which hate thee, which persecuted thee, man. All nations have hated us and persecuted us, man. But who is the number one enemy that's hated and persecuted us? Esau Edom, the so called white man. Okay, we just go to Deuteronomy. 33 and 29 happy art thou o israel who is who is like unto thee no one okay O people saved by yahweh the shield of thy help and who is the sword of thy excellency and thine enemies shall be found liars unto thee okay so if you negroes latinos the americans got a got a problem with identifying your enemy who's the biggest lie on the face of the earth man the so-called white man he's relied about everything man about who you are your history your power Okay, he's even lied about who he is, man. Okay, and thou shalt tread upon their high places, man. So, you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you got an enemy, man. Okay, hey, I just wanted to go through that video real quick, man. You know, it was, um, you know, hey, man, we appreciate your honesty, Esau. You know what I'm saying? But understand the scriptures, 
the honesty, the honesty of the scriptures as well, man. Prepare slaughter for your children for the iniquity of your fathers, man. The big payback is coming back, man. Okay, and it's not James Brown. It's Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, man. Bashem or Kadash, man. Call Allah Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. But double honors to the uh, uh, the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the Akim on the four corners, putting in this work in faith, truth, sincerity. Salutations to the confused faces of Akim um, out there in the four corners, and to the few sisters that are trying to see the word of God. Shalom. Abad Babal.